guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you tonight for a EP review for Alexis Monroe's Static EP that I'm, I'm going to be reviewing for you guys to let you know what I think of this EP. Give me a second, guys. Got to pause the video. Sorry, guys. Had to pause the video for a second. My mom needed me for something. Um, But yeah, this is an EP review for Alexis Monroe's Static EP that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys tonight just let you know what I thought of all six songs so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for Alexis Monroe's Static EP and let you know my thoughts on this 18 minute extended play so let's dive into this it's technically a short album but yeah let's dive into this EP review now it starts with Girl That You Used To Know GTYU2K is how she pronounces it. I wasn't sure what that was standing for, but now I know when I listen to the song. I think this song's alright. It didn't do so bad. Um, her vocals are pretty good in this track. I mean, she sounds like Avril Lavigne, and it's just... I think she makes it work to a degree, but it's alright. So 4.5 out of 5 for this track. I mean, some of the lyrics are hit or miss, but... Overall, the track was not so bad of a listen. Then comes Burn, and I'm going to give this a 4.75 out of 5. This one wasn't so bad. Um, I actually like this one better uh, than the Girl That You Used To Know track. This one sounded pretty interesting with how she was singing the track. Um, there were some, I think the bridge part of the section of the song was pretty outstanding, so... Yeah, pretty much props for this song. Good song. So, 4.75 out of 5 for uh, Burn. Then comes Language, and the lyrics are hit or miss. They're not very well done lyrics, meaning not well executed with how it's sounding, with how she's singing it. But overall, it's a decent track. It's not my favorite, so 4 out of 5. Then comes Rejects, and that one was okay. Not great. I just wasn't feeling for the track overall. It sounded very juvenile-ish. And just overall, it didn't execute too well. But it's okay of a listen. It's tolerable, but not great. So, 3 out of 5 for this one. Then comes Rejects Acoustic, and that's probably the better uh, highlight for this EP, mostly. But overall, I think the original song sucked a little bit. It wasn't that it sucked, I was just in the middle with the original track, but with this one, this is better, in my opinion. So, it sounded really nice with the melodies change and nice acoustic work, and Alexis Monroe's singing was pretty well done, so 4.5 out of 5. And comes Static, and I don't really like the background noise in this track, I know it's meant to be something intriguing for the closing track but honestly not a amazing closing track in my opinion for this extended play but I just think this static noise in the background and the background noise it just bothered me a bit and made me not really care for this song but her vocals were pretty outstanding so uh, 4 out of 5 that's the only props I'll give it so overall, production mixing and execution wise, I think Alexis Monroe's Static EP was decent. Not anything special, but it was fine. I the only song I can really praise is Burn, uh, Girl That You Used to Know, uh, Rejects. Everything else is decent or okay, but this is not a great EP in my opinion. But it's fairly decent, so for a score for me, I'm giving Alexis Monroe's Static EP a 7 out of 10. Decent listen. Definitely give it a shot, see what you think of it for yourself. But overall, yeah, 7 out of 10 for Alexis Monroe's Static EP. Hopefully you enjoyed this review tonight, and thanks for watching.